All right. Um, the other take, um, the other question is, uh, okay, what's my take on um, on the prophetic um, in, in connection with the with the word? I think it's quite fundamental because um, there is no way you can be the bearer of God's word unless you have got the foundation of God's word in your heart. I think that's, that's the one thing that God looks at. Do you know the word? Are you rooted in the word? And um, it's almost like, for example, when, when uh, Ezekiel was called by God, God, uh, God said to, to Ezekiel, I want you to take this crow and, and eat it. So when it comes to God making one a, a prophet and, and his word, these two have got to go together. You have to know the word. In fact, Jesus says, um, this word that I speak to you will make you clean. And so, and so, and so, whenever you meditate on God's word, it will clean up your mind. In fact, the word of God is the only thing that God designed to clean a human mind. Your mind is not cleansed by by motivational speaking, uh, your, your, your mind is not cleansed by good programs that you watch on television. No, your mind is cleansed by the power of the spoken word of God. So when you meditate on his word, you are getting your mind cleansed. The reason why your mind has got to be cleansed is because God wants to speak to you. Because God cannot speak to a polluted mind. He cannot speak to a polluted mind. You have got to know your mind have got to be clean but as long as your mind is polluted it will be difficult for you to be able to measure whether it is God himself who is speaking or not so when your mind is clean it creates within you the ability to be able to know and to tell God's voice why because you have spent much of your time having your mind being washed by the power of his word and so God can, it will be difficult for you to operate in the prophetic without the word. In fact, even if you go through the scriptures, you hear Ezekiel saying, um, you hear Ezekiel saying um, that when I, when I ate the scroll, the word of God was like, was like honey, you know. So, yeah, so yeah, you have got to know the word. You've got to be soaked in the word. Um, there's, a, there's another statement um, which, which David makes in the, in the book of uh, uh, Psalm 37 um, where he says, uh, delight yourself in the Lord. The word to delight from the original Hebrew uh, means, to, it, it means to meditate on God's word. In other words, every time the Jews would be said to be delighting themselves in the word, I mean in the Lord, it meant that they were reading God's word out loud. So they, there was this, you know, um, delighting in the scriptures. So like what David would do is that he would sit down and then open up the scrolls and then he would start meditating and reading. So that, that, that practice of, um, of meditating on, on scripture was what the Jews would term as delighting yourself in the Lord. And so by doing that, you get your mind clean because it is the power of God, uh, God's spoken word uh, to wash a human mind. And so once your mind is clean, God will then begin to outpour his will for your life. So it will be easier for you to hear God. So yeah, so, so there is a demand for those that are in the prophetic to... Spend as much time in the Word as possible. I do that. Sometimes when I'm meditating on God's Word, I can go for, for an hour, for two, for three, sometimes for five. You know, just meditating one scripture after the other. And by the time I'm done, there is this sense of uh, cleanliness that happens to my mind. Because here's what happens. If you don't meditate on God's Word, it will be easier for you to naturally gravitate towards sin. It's, 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 it's easy for a person to gravitate towards sin. It's natural, in fact, it's natural for a person to gravitate towards sin. 
when the word of God is not in his heart. But when the word is there, when the person is meditating on the word, it's also natural for the person to gravitate towards righteousness. So you don't have to crank yourself. You don't have to wake up in the morning and say, okay, I want, to, I want to live right for God. No, you don't do it like that. You just have to make the decision to meditate on his word. And so when you meditate on his word, um, then it will be natural for you to gravitate towards the things that God has commanded already. So yeah, so that's, 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 that's my take. Um, the prophetic has to line up with, with the word. It has to line up with scripture. Yes, thank you.